coming up next. It's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting at a Portage, Indiana, USA, El Diablo. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. All right, going through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your hands, come out fight. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Head kick blocked. Collar tie. Big ball for punch lands. Now we get back to range. These guys throwing early. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, single collar tie here. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank, and not good for the old dog. You can't take so many of them. 
left side to head. Somebody's going to sleep. Good punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Nice kick. Oh, big left hand there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice slip to avoid the left. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, that's a good right hand. Back and forth we go. Goes to the body there. Pretty good right hand. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, he to the head. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Another one, yep. Up oh, and the left hand. Oh! Big punch land. Ooh. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Missed with that right hand. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. And both guys really throwing with authority. Great punch. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Lands the right hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Connects with a right. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it but by getting hit over and over in the face. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, that right hand is on point. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home.
The right hand just misses. And they separate. Just misses with the straight right. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. That one snuck in. Nice. Oh! Oh, he might be out. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got pressure. He's got to change that finish. Oh! Throwing that jab, no good. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Oh, nice connection there with the ball. Oh. He's got it right here. Wild swing there. He changes the angle. Finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much. Oh! Oh, big diving punch lands up top. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep the half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position. Oh, he got a good move, too. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this is... Whoa! Whoa! He's done, he's done! <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rivellano is going to stop this contest at three minutes, nine seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that will listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.